All right, I had a buddy ask me if uh, I could make a video for him because he wanted to put seat belts in his the back of his uh, Mark II. Uh, this is a 69 Cooper S. I put seat belts in. I have kids that ride back here and I want them to be safe. Um, so here they go. Here you go. Finished product. This is what it's going to look like. I'll show you what I did. All right, there's a couple different lengths you could have got. I went for the long ones. I got lots of adjustment here. Put an adult back here, no problem. And that's the original seats. Although I did change all the foam on them. Here it is with the seat removed. You can see this bracket folds up here and the bracket goes down. And then when we get to the middle, the bracket actually points up and the seat belt webbing is upward. Same with the next one, upward. Last one again will be pointing down it's up here and that way it just it's up against the seat just as it is here up against the seat and when I fold the back seat in underneath it's a nice smooth transition so with the kit came these spacers I used them in behind the bracket and uh, a good grade bolt, which also came uh, with the kit. Once you get the spare tire out of the way, got a fair amount going on back in here. Anyway, this is your crossover fuel oil line. If you can just see where I'm pointing here. Um, it goes from one tank to the other. Obviously only one gauge. And it's in this on the left hand tank and the tanks just naturally equalize um, I had a blockage in the line to the right here in the corner near the right tank so I replaced that bit of line and that compression fitting just joins those two pieces of line but in behind here you can see one bolt and then another bolt those two bolts are actually what hold those uh, seat belt buckles and then Back in here, um, you can't even see it. That's where the seat latch is in there, and it's in behind here, deep in that corner. And again, deep in this corner. Uh, I took the fuel tanks out to put the brackets in because I welded them in, uh, which I would recommend. Here you can see the bracket here. There's an old scrap uh, mini that I have out in the back and you can see the brackets. So here's the center bracket. That's where the seatbelt bolts to, right here. Um, this is all to support, but I welded it. I looked at where all the welds were and I copied exactly where all those welds were. And now we'll go over to the side bracket. You can see that's where the seatbelt bolts to there. And that's the bracket up here same on the other side all the cobwebs nice but here's the bracket here there's where your seatbelt bolts to right there and uh, there's the bracket so we're going to copy the welds and weld it in there we go finished product seat belts are in the car is safer now I don't mind driving around with the kids in the back. All right. And a final shot of the inside. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.